thank you for coming by. If this is your first time, you're welcome. My name is Sherma, and today I will be providing an update on my Wealth Simple account. Okay, I am on a mission to take this account from zero to ten thousand dollars by the end of the year, and I am using the Wealth Simple portfolio or platform to do so. Okay, so I am bringing updates at least once every week for this portfolio okay or on this portfolio so if this is your first time please go back to the videos that has already been done I will also put links in the description box below so that you can catch up and then follow my progression and continue along following on this journey with me till the end of the year okay so as you can see here today the portfolio value as of the end of this week is $4,770.79. So for the past month, it's down $65.36. For the past week, it is at zero. It's up $3.62. And for the past, what well, we'll say for the day, Friday, it's $113.55 down, okay? Again, I am in this for the long haul, so I'm not worried about the volatility that's taking place in the portfolio at this time, okay? Um, I think most persons in the, investing in the stock market at this time is experiencing some volatility within certain um, positions in their portfolios, okay? So just to give you an overall update on what I've done this week, I have added certain um, positions. I added certain amount of shares to each or a number of positions that I hold in this portfolio. I am taking advantage of the dip so that I can continue to average down on my cost, okay? So for the week, I added 11 Algonquin shares. I added... 15 of my HHL sh shares, I added 31 to my Green Lane Renewables. Manual Life, I added two shares. And Good Natured Products, I added nine shares. Okay, so that is what I did this week. As I said, I, take, I took advantage of the dips so that I could further increase my position again paying special attention to increasing my positions in my dividend stocks, okay? So again, we want to create or grow passive income, so that is my specific target, okay? I did increase some positions in my growth stocks, as I did with Green Lane and Good Natured Products, but overall, I really did add a, quite a number of shares to my dividend paying stocks okay so let's start with the first one absolute software corp i have 21 shares my algonquin power and utilities corp i have 25 shares now so again this week i added 11 shares okay so i'm very happy i was able to take advantage of the dip it is down 5.24 position um 24%. My absolute software corp is down 4.15%. Next is my Burkan NutriScience Corp. I have 30 shares and it's up 16.76%, $20.20. Cloud MD Software and Services, I have 100 shares, it's down $60.83 which is 24.59%. Next, we have Good Natured Products. And again, I added nine shares, trying to further take down my overall cost per share. It is down 6.42%, which is $36.04. I am very bullish on this stock, along with Green Lane Renewables, so I'm not worried about the dip that it's currently in. So Green Lane Renewable, I have 251 shares. It's down 19.99%, which is 
which is $103.49. And again, for Green Lane Renewables, I added 31 shares. Okay. Following that, we have Harvest Healthcare Leaders Income ETF. I have 62 shares, and this is a dividend paying stock. I added 15 shares this past week. It is up seven, sorry, it is up three. 0.65%, which is $3.19. Following that, I have Interrent Real Estate Investment Trust. This is a REIT and it is up 7.66%, which is $12.06. Following, I have a gold stock, which is Ken Ross Gold Corp. I have 10 shares and that is up 6.92%, which is $6.27. Next, we have Manulife Financial Corp. I am up, or oh, sorry, it's down 5.42%, which is $12.81. I have nine shares, and I'm looking forward to continuing to add to this position. This week, I added two shares to this position. It is a dividend paying stock, so I want to do my best to grow the amount of shares I have here. Next is Horizon Psychedelic Stock Inc. I have 10 shares. It's down 15.90%, which is $14.84. Following that, I have Rio Can Real Estate Investment Trust, which is a REIT. I have 10 shares so far. It is up 7.23%, which is $14.22. And again, this is a position that I will definitely be working towards increasing the amount of shares I have here. Next, I have Trans Alta Renewable Inc. I have 16 shares. It is down 2.56%, which is $8. Again, this is a dividend paying stock. Then I have Telus. I have 10 shares. It is up 1.64%, which is $4.32. Very bullish about Telus. And I am going to be working towards increasing this position also. Next, I have Well Health Technologies Corp. 52 shares. It is down 9.65%, which is $37.86. Very bullish on the telehealth field. Next, I have BMO Canadian High Dividend Covered Call ETF. I have 10 shares. It is up $16.01 which is 9.71%. Following, I have BMO Covered Call Utilities, which is 20 shares. I have 20 shares, sorry. It is up 1.46%, and it, which is $3.67. So those are two BMO Covered Call positions that I have and they're dividend paying stocks and they actually pay about seven plus percent, which I'm very happy about. So the, the ZWU, I actually added one share. Sorry, I think I forgot to include that in my, as I, in my opening. So I added one share this past week in ZWU. So now I have 20 shares and I will continue to increase this position, okay? So this is the activities that I'm, took place in my portfolio this week. Again, I am not worried about the overall um, volatility. That too will pass. I know that I just started my investing journey in January, mid-January. So I am not one of the individuals that started and my portfolio was humming along nicely, growing. I started my first month, it was up and pretty much it's been down or zero. So I am not one of the persons that enjoyed a nice growth spurt, okay? Not yet. I know it will come. I'm not worried about that. It will come. I'll just continue investing in the stock market. I know um, there are lots of possibilities. And again, the focus is on dividend paying stocks for that to grow that passive income okay so thank you so much everyone for coming by don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel it will really help me with the growth of this channel okay and we can both 
encourage each other. Please don't forget to put a comment down below, okay? Okay, so I'm very happy that everyone stopped by. Looking forward to providing another update next week on my portfolio. I'm happy to see the progression for from zero. I now have $4,770.79 in pretty much three and a half months. So I'm not disappointed at all, okay? So thank you much. Take care. Have a great weekend. If you're in Canada, enjoy the nice long weekend. Hopefully you can get out and enjoy some sunshine, although we're still under lockdown, but be safe out there. Enjoy. See you in the next video.